Item number, SCP-682. Object class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-682 must be destroyed as soon as possible. At this time, no means available to SCP teams are capable of destroying SCP-682, only able to cause massive physical damage. SCP-682 should be contained within a 5 meter by 5 meter by 5 meter chamber with 25 centimeter reinforced acid resistant steel plate lining all inside surfaces. The containment chamber should be filled with hydrochloric acid until SCP-682 is submerged and incapacitated. Any attempts of SCP-682 to move, speak, or breach containment should be reacted to quickly and with full force, as called for by the circumstances. Personnel are forbidden to speak to SCP-682 for fear of provoking a rage state. All unauthorized personnel attempting to communicate to SCP-682 will be restrained and removed by force. Due to its frequent attempts at containment breach, difficulty of containment, and incapacitation, and high threat of Foundation exposure, SCP-682 is to be contained in sight. The Foundation will use the best of its resources to maintain all land within 50 kilometers clear of human development. Description SCP-682 is a large, vaguely reptile-like creature of unknown origin. It appears to be extremely intelligent and was observed to engage in complex communication with SCP-79 during their limited time of exposure. SCP-682 appears to have a hatred of all life, which has been expressed in several interviews during containment. SCP-682 has always been observed to have extremely high strength, speed, and reflexes, though exact levels vary with its form. SCP-682's physical body grows and changes very quickly, growing or decreasing in size as it consumes or sheds material. SCP-682 gains energy from anything it ingests, organic or inorganic. Digestion seems to be aided by a set of filtering gills inside of SCP-682's nostrils, which are able to remove usable matter from any liquid solution, enabling it to constantly regenerate from the acid it is contained in. SCP-682's regenerative capabilities and resilience are staggering, and SCP-682 has been seen moving and speaking, with its body 87% destroyed or rotted. In case of containment breach, SCP-682 is to be tracked and recaptured by all available mobile task forces, and no teams with fewer than seven members are cleared to engage it. To date, Attempted breaches have numbered at 17, while successful breaches have numbered at 6. Addendum 682B Portion of recorded transcript of Begin log Skip to 0 hours 21 minutes 52 seconds uh, Now why did you kill those farmers? If you don't talk now, we'll remove you from this attempt and place you back into... Pardon? Uh, speak up. Move the mic up closer. The microphone only has so much gain. Move it closer to it. Don't mess up, man. Look at it. He ain't... Doctor retreats from the room. End log. Addendum 682D. Breaches with SCP-682. So far, there have been six recorded occurrences of attempts at containment breaches by SCP-682. Most Foundation agents and personnel involved in handling these incidents were KIA. 
Addendum 682E Termination Options Log of Event 682E18 Doctor attempts to use SCP-409 on SCP-682. General S, General P, and Doctor observing. O400. Exposure. SCP-682 began to tear at the point of contact, causing massive trauma to the area. SCP-682 requests several times to know what it has been exposed to. O800. Crystallization begins, spreading much slower than normal. 1200. SCP-682 shows signs of extreme pain and begins having seizures. 1300. Crystallization stops at 62% conversion. Crystallized area explodes, causing massive physical trauma to SCP-682. 1400. SCP-682 recovers from exposure, despite the loss of limbs and organs. SCP-682 begins regeneration, stating that it will attempt to kill and consume all staff involved in Event 682-E18. SCP-682 appears to now be immune to SCP-409. Use of other SCP items to terminate SCP-682 must now first be tested on samples of SCP-682 before full-scale testing. In accordance with Dr. R's recommendations, see Document 27B-6. Dr. and Dr. have requested permission to attempt the termination of SCP-682 using SCP-689. The request is currently pending approval from the It has also been suggested by Dr. Gears to use SCP-182 in an attempt to communicate with SCP-682. SCP-182 has expressed reluctance and refuses to enter the containment center of SCP-682, if at all possible. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-681, Hostile Helium, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.